here you are. Jesus Christ, <laughs> so much rice. Thank you. Othoni, uh, in ancient Greek mythology, written by Homer, uh, believed to be the island of the news uh, Calypso, which Odysseus fell in love with her when he visited the island, and he stayed her prisoner, or he stayed with her, we are not sure if, if you are in love, you are not really a prisoner, and he stayed here for about uh, seven years, and after he had to build a raft, and he fight with the huge waves, and managed to sail to Corfu, where his story continues. The island has about uh, 400 uh, people, most of them right now are either fishermen or they are uh, working with tourism. It's a very pretty island, quite nice mountain area. has nice mountains, white mountains, nice wrecks all around. Very I rocky and green at the same time. Yeah, I personally like it. It's very bad on the activities So, you can sw swim under the rock and pass there. But this, is, this bay is full of jellyfish, so you don't want that. But this is just amazing. Oh, guys. Really? Look, talking about the jellyfish. Look at that. <laughs> we are in a hunt for an ark <laughs> that we saw when we were coming. And uh, I want to pass through it because <laughs> it looks very cute. And now we can't find it. And we are in this laundry here, suffering and getting wet and salty, trying to find that ark. And we've done like half of the. That will be. West side of the island. Ah! Turn back, turn back. Abandoned mission, abandoned mission. Why the paddles? <laughs> we are preparing the paddles. We're gonna go in the cave and we are not sure if we're gonna need to paddle out or we can use our port in there. So it's better to have them ready. Also, we can fend off rocks. <laughs> so the previous cave is that one there. There is an opening, you saw that. Look at this crystal rock water. Crystal water. You've tamed the voices in your head. You've put your courage to the test. Laid all your doubts to rest. Your mind is clearer than before. Your heart is full and wanting more. Your future's at the door. Give it all you got, no hesitating, you've been waiting all your life, this is your moment. to win it's where your life begins yeah there's no holding back no overthinking you've been reaching all your life this is your moment this is your moment it's a shame that water is actually warm and there are so many jellyfishes inside there that you can't really swim. This is amazing. Look at that. There is even a lot of lavender in there. <laughs> and probably oregano too. Up in this road here, this straight uh, way up. Look at that. Oh wow. I could live here. <laughs> in a cave. <laughs> Calypso. <laughs> I'll be Calypso. I have already the hair, sort of. To pretend. That's me. Calypso little. didn't have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so many jellies.
you see me? Yes. So, out in the middle of the night. Up. Let me fix you. After exploring those caves yesterday, because <laughs> yeah, it's been already 24 hours. Um, we had uh, the. We are heading to Prevaza. We left Othoni. Uh, those caves were amazing, but we have an emergency to catch up. So we're gonna start now heading south to fix the um, fix up the accident we had with Oshun, the incident. Um, so it's middle of the night. This is what I have to <laughs> to fight for. This ship was super quiet, and I couldn't hear it. When I came out to my watch five minutes ago, I saw something, but seemed very far. And uh, slowly started approaching, and I had to get the binoculars to see, to try to figure out which direction it was heading, as I could only see its square front face. No red or green light, so it had to approach that much for me to figure out that's actually, and start hearing it, that it was coming towards us. The wind is dying on us, slowly. Um, oh well. It's gonna be a long sailing. We should arrive to Prevas around 11 o'clock. Nope, I'm lying. <laughs> 4 o'clock in the morning. Because it's 10 something already. As I said, I just came out from my, from my rest. And it was around 5 when I went on, down. And... Um, this is my watch time now. Someone should be resting, but it's on the laptop. <laughs> it's gonna be painful when it's time for me to go down and he come up. Um, well, the sky is beautiful, but that doesn't bring me any rest. And you can hear the sail now. The wind is dying on us. Actually, that's just probably the waves created by it, by that ferry. And now it's catching up on us and rocking a bit of shun. Yeah. And we still have four knots of wind. So in Prevaza, as I was, I wanted to say, in Prevaza, we're going to be fixing our... Um... Baby! How is called the front of the boat that you want to weld? <laughs> Still kind of feel like in holidays. We need to weld together our bow sprit as it. Okay, time for me to go, guys. So the wind started swift um, changing um, and now he's very upset because the rudder started also, I mean the autopilot started making weird noises and uh, the wind started changing and making a huge mess, uh, not filling up the sails. We had to deal with the sails and then the autopilot and we are both exhausted because yesterday was a horrible night as um, we had swell like the worst swell ever in our <laughs> five years of sailing six years of sailing now the worst swell ever so everybody is super exhausted and the patience is short so i'm not gonna put him talking to you guys tomorrow you're gonna have your explanation if you wish for it uh, but not today so he's exhausted he wants to rest too but uh, unfortunately he has to stay a few more minutes or maybe an hour trying to fix whatever's going on with the rudder um with autopilot i mean uh, i think just needed some loop actually but tomorrow we'll figure out better what's going on down there uh, the wind is very low very low going like with three knots of true wind. <laughs> we'll never arrive to Prevas and maybe tomorrow in the sunrise, during the sunrise we'll arrive there. So 
Oh well. I'm gonna get back to my sleep. Because there's no point for both of us to be awake right now. Um, and that's it for now. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to add. And because also I'm fed up with the noise of the <laughs> autopilot in the back cabin. True, it's a huge mess in here. I prefer to sleep with stuff than sleeping with noise. I can't handle any more noise for today. And thank God our wood started to stop the creaking. Sort of stopped creaking. I spoke too early. Every time the boat rocks a bit, that thing gets back to super noisy. There is a screw that is free there and now the whole left side of the boat cricket crackers. Anyway, for me that's it. I'm gonna take a chance to rest a little bit more. Good night guys. By the way, I got my company. Sales, laptop, anything else you can imagine. Back to my watch again. <laughs> Someone is sleeping now. And I have to keep very sharp eyes because I can only see dark and light. And it's very hard to tell if the light is on the town, in the, in, on land or at sea. So it's a bit stressful. But what I was saying is that uh, we need to get to Prevaza. First of all, to see a friend of ours. Frank, look what we don't do for you. <laughs> and also, we're gonna take that chance. True, we wanted to do this repair in Crete, but the truth is, we're gonna need it on the way down when the winds get really low, as it happened today, most part of the day. Um, our bowsprit, where on the connections where it's welded, uh, some of them split again, and we need to get these pieces back. So, for that reason, uh, we can't use the, um, the spinnaker the Chenaker in our case. Uh, we did use it today for a bit and uh, things started getting worse and we didn't want to break it at once or to damage the sail. So we just put it back and uh, we are sailing through the night to Prevaza. This client is sleeping or resting and uh, I'm keeping my watch. Funny! Well, actually, I just wanted some company, but you can't really see in the guy in the dark guy, so I kind of feel like I am on my own. <laughs> and it's boring because I can't do crochet and I can't, no, I can't read because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see between the difference of light, I wouldn't be able to pay attention to my watch properly. And as you know already, that there are some tankers or uh, ships going around. I really need to keep a sharp eye because some of them don't even keep a watch or don't know if that's only during the day but we don't want to risk it, right? So that's it reported and out um, I'm bored In here just sitting watching the stars I get boring sometimes too. In plus or minus to keep us in track to our destination. Have to take advantage of every meter that wind allows us to align to our destination. And right now I have a chance of oh, plus five. It let me. It should. But it's also quick changing. There we go. 
We don't want anything less than 50 degrees angle through wind. The wind is very playful today. Very playful. Well, at least it's keeping me eye wide open. <laughs> Better play with the wind than playing with ships. Them ships. Them tankers. No, I don't want them. The big boys. So tell me guys, now that I'm bored and nothing to do, what would you like us to show more in this new season? What's happening? Okay, just some waves, naughty waves. What would you like to see more in this new season? We are open to suggestions. It would be nice to know. Tell me in the comments what you like to see more, what you liked in the previous season. Let's have a little bit more interaction in this season. I would like that. Okay? Deal. Show me in the comments starting from today. It's a good way to show today. Let's go. So I can start giving a good example. I'm a good girl. Sometimes. <laughs> um, so last season I liked more. I liked more the wildness of the videos. I liked more the nature, the hiking, the suffering through hiking but felt great the next morning. Through all the pain and everything else, it feels really rewarding after you have done such a crazy thing. Uh, the hikes in Martinique and in Guadeloupe. <laughs> I love the caves, underwater caves. Those were amazing, St. Vincent. That gonna stay forever there. St. Vincent people, you are amazing too. Very kind people, very giving, humble. I like that. This was actually two years ago already. Ah, how time passed. Oh well, actually, you tell me from since you start watching all our videos or whatever you have watched, what you like the most. Okay, let me know. I'm very curious now. Now that I got to revive my memories, let me know. What you like the most in the videos? The places you like the most? Where they more towns, cities, uh, nature, uh, more distant places? Tell me. You tell me. Okay, I would love to keep on chatting, but I'm feeling like I'm getting close to land. I start seeing the lights closer to me and I need to switch off that light that allows you to see me. So, because I'm getting blinded here and I can't see very well where I'm heading to. So, talk to you soon or tomorrow in this case. Travel the channel. Reporting, 4 o'clock in the morning, we have our second boy here flashing our red light and in the dark of course I can see the shade of the green one but there is no light and this has been reported already by the authorities for some time, yeah, at least a month and a half and uh, well, nothing. Passing very close to the red. Yeah, at least the red I knew where it was. You so. better pass close to that one. At <laughs> least you are sure one. that we are in between. The wind is pushing us away from the red. On the other side, the green, not even a sign of it. 